Yeah, it's a wee bit different when you go into the islands of Shetland. Ooh, that's a hot mug, guy. Hey guys, this is my review for Shetland. I picked this up kind of randomly recently, and it does do in part to my fascination with Scotland. I went to the UK in 2022, and I fell in love with Scotland, the culture, the lifestyle, the highlands, and the immense interest in solitude, especially when you go north. If you know anything about Scotland, you know that the belt, which is where Glasgow and Edinburgh are, that's where 80% of the population of the country is. And then the very little bit below it, and then the entire up above it is where the remaining 20% is. And if you want to go to some secluded places like Corny or obviously the Isle of Skye, there's that, Inverness, and then off the coast of Inverness, there's the Orkney Islands. But then if you really want to get secluded, you get on a ferry that's 12 hours long, and you go all the way up to the Shetland Islands. And there you find a very particular sort of people who are not only well known to one another, but they're also ingrained in the culture that's out there. Now, apologies that that was bad. I've been practicing, but it is kind of interesting when you watch this show because the mixture of culture and accents. The show is primarily about Jimmy Perez, played by Douglas Heschnell. He has this group of cops, one being played by Alison Donnan, who plays Tosh, and another who's played by Steven Robinson. His name is Sandy Wilson. And the actor who plays Sandy is pretty cool. He's actually from Shetland. So he has that very unique accent to the area like for instance most scottish would say petrol but he really announces as the p and so he's got petrol uh, petrol there's a lot more roles with the shetland accent that's only the tip of the iceberg with this show the reason why i liked it so much is that it didn't just give you really good little murder stories it also gave you an insight into the culture of these islands and it's not just one island there's a lot of islands there's one episode in the second series where they go to an island called Lorney Island, I believe. The population is 70. There's one fucking road on this island. And then there's others too. There's Tertar that has two roads. It's really is one road that turns into two roads and then turns back into one road. They're hopping on all these islands, finding the clues to the killers of the episodes. The first two series were two-parter stories and they had some pretty interesting ones. They had Gemma Chan in the first one. They had Brian Cox playing a, uh, um, a mentally handicapped person in the second, or sorry, the first two-parter of the second series. And then after that, that's when BBC kind of took a little bit of a shift from doing episodic stuff. It was either you do episodic or you make your entire season a story. And then season three onward was that. And the first one was really good. It starts with a kid being locked in a container on the ferry and finding his body and it leads down this road of crime corruption into glasgow and also deals with sexual assault in a very respectful manner like an incredibly respectful manner and after that they were able to keep up the steam the fourth season in particular is my favorite that's about a cold case trial and it still interweaves these people and jimmy perez who is in inundated with these people he knows who they are but he's also just essentially the sheriff of the town and he can't really get close to people there are times where he'll have relations with other people but due to the circumstances of his job or the circumstances of the people who he affects with his job they have to go away and i like perez's distance the only two people who he allows to get close to him are cassie perez his daughter played by Aaron Armstrong, and this is a really interesting relationship. Technically speaking, Cassie's actual daughter, the ex-husband of Perez's dead wife, Duncan Hunter, played by Mark Boner. Everyone in here is a great Scottish actor, and what I find really interesting about Duncan and Jimmy's relationship is that they both were married to the same woman, but Duncan kind of threw his life away, and every season he kind of tries to pick himself back up but he's always finding a way to kind of make it fall apart again and you feel for him and that's what you do for a lot of the characters in this show you actually become attached to a lot of them you feel for their strife you feel for their worry their plights there are some times where the characters don't get enough kind of i don't know i wouldn't say development as they should like for instance sandy sandy had some good episodes at first and then he just kind of became the bit cop that doesn't have any kind of development there are a few things that are left hanging 
at the end of series six that they just they just don't do anything with it you really thought they were going to do something with it but nope they just don't touch it and it's unfortunate because he got some good parts in the first few series there's a particular conversation he has with the kid of the lady he's with right now who's husband is in jail apparently in and out all the time and this kid has a real hard time with the fact that his dad is in jail and there is a really deep conversation between him and sandy that never came back in any sort of way for sandy again the character never got a moment like this again and i felt bad for him because i thought that was a cool part and then also there's billy billy who doesn't even have a photo on his imdb is the kind of the the hold of the police station he's the guy who's doing the calls he's the kind of the office manager but he's a lot more than that he's kind of like the little tiny bit of the heart of the show because he's just so jolly with everyone and you, you really enjoy his presence in the show but yeah he doesn't even have a fucking imdb photo it's just lewis howden but the reason why i reviewed it now is because this is where Perez's story ends at the end of series seven Perez decides to quit at the end of series seven it, it felt hard to watch because both it's a bit of a swift exit for him even though they have been building up to it throughout the season he doesn't get to say as many goodbyes as you would like hell he actually doesn't technically even say goodbye to his daughter in the end of the episode she's in this one part and then she never comes back again and as far as i know duncan jimmy and cassie do not come back in the show but the show has continued on with tosh who, Alison Donnan, I like her. I like her acting. I like her character. There's only one thing. I did slightly break the glass ceiling for myself while watching this show because you'll notice she does this face a lot. Every actor has kind of their quirk. You know, how we talk about how Brad Pitt's always eating something. And there's also sometimes something funny, like for all of you Yellowstone fans, count how many times Kevin Costner goes up and down with his hat during a conversation like this. It'll blow your fucking mind. But either way, Shetland is a series I would highly recommend. There's not that many episodes. There's only 38 total with Jimmy. And I think they're at 44. This is a show that has gone on for 10 years. They keep on finding a way to bring back the Shetland culture. Or the, the history of the islands itself. The first two episodes, uh, from technically speaking the first series, it was only two episodes, are really, really indebted into giving you kind of a crash course on Shetland culture and just for that alone I would suggest it as well as the crime stories themselves because every time you think you know who the killer is they give you a good runabout I was only ever able to predict the killer twice every other time I kind of had a feeling of what was going to be the killer but it turned out that they were associated with something else so they will add layers of crimes on top of the initial crime to keep you interested, to keep your head turning. And that's what I really enjoyed about Shetland. Not only for trying to imitate the accent, but I really enjoyed the stories, the characters, and the general feel. It's made me want to go to the island so much that it is a dream of mine. I hope to go there one day. I also want to know why they say wasn't instead of wasn't. It's so weird how they do not want to say wasn't. Let's say it wasn't he. I'm not going to give Shetland a review. I'm just going to say that's where I kind of wish I was right now. If I am correct and where I'm releasing this review, I am in Scotland still. And I really, really wish I could have taken a trip up to Shetland. But I, I didn't have enough time to take like three days out to go up to that island. But either way, I hope you guys check the series out. It's a really cool watch, especially for those who have some interest in this kind of isolated location area. That is as well as just Scotland in general. I definitely would recommend it. Either way, though, I hope you guys like this video. If you've seen the show, let me know what you think of it. What other kind of UK, British, or Scottish crime dramas have you guys watched that you would really recommend? Let me know in the comments below. Very interested to see what you guys have to say. Otherwise, guys, that's all from me. I'm on my way now all through to the ferry to Ireland, probably at this point. So I hope you liked the video. If you did, leave a like. And if you're interested in more, subscribe. And until then, I'll see you guys next time. Ooh, that was bad at the end. That was really bad at the end. Hang on, I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try. And until then, I'll see you guys next time. There we go, that's better.